Hello, my gosh, my face cam's not on. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the New York Empoleons Week 7 Team Builder Battle of the UBL Season 3. We are here this week taking on the new Britain Rockruffs and Die It Tight. Now, this is the first time I'm ever battling Die where I will not be on call with him, so I don't really know what to do, but obviously it's Die. I'm taking this league with more fun, and so you're going to see some fun stuff. Uh, hopefully, Die gets to experience it for himself. I... I had to be talked down a little bit from my front office to actually make this sense a little more serious, but even then, they're a little bit out of this world. So, first things first, we're going to jump right in with Dai's team, uh, which is Landorus, T, Latios, Bisharp, Decidueye, Jolteon, Primarina, Salazzle, Gigalith, Stoutland, Duosion, and Mega Pinsir, with Landorus, T being the only possible Z user on that team. This is a terrifying team. If I recall correctly, this is not a team Dai drafted. Dai actually came and replaced a coach who steps down um and so he's it's scary it's terrifying um i've seen die work with basically any mon he i think i don't actually know if he made any changes to this team or not um but the one thing the one thing that makes me super happy is despite my team having a billion million weaknesses to fire he doesn't have a fire type outside of salazzle now salazzle is okay but it has some other common weaknesses that my team can cover so Thankfully, this fire type being Salazzle, uh, I am going to be able to hopefully handle that. It is really fast and really scary, but we're going to start off with our Cryogonal. One of those fire weaknesses, uh, Freeze Dry, Hidden Power, Ground, Rapid Spin, and Toxic to catch that Salazzle on Switch-In, potentially. Um, and it is going to be able, it is going to be my spinner this week. I thought about running Recover, but it didn't make a lot of sense. We are running Max Speed um, for the Speed Tie with the Mega Pinsir, just in case that does come into a relevance base. Uh, it's also going to outspeed, obviously, a modest Latios, as well as a modest Salazzle. So, uh, those two things I am going to be able to take advantage of, but uh, Jolteon's still going to outspeed me, basically, no matter what, so that is what it is. Next up, we have Skarmory, which is going to be Roost, Stealth Rock, Iron Head, and Whirlwind. Uh, with the Rocky Helmet and Physically Defensive, this thing can counter basically all physical attackers, including Landorus, Bisharp, Decidueye, uh, Gigalith, Stoutland, Mega Pinsir, can basically handle all of those, so this is my physical wall. It's got Rocky Helmet to really punish physical attackers for doing physical things. Um, and then Stealth Rocks, while his team does not have a ton of weaknesses to them, in fact, I'm actually not entirely sure if he has any except for Mega Pinsir. He has a Mega Pinsir, um, and so Stealth Rocks are just inherently useful. That's all that it takes. Uh, people forget Mega Pinsir is incredibly bulky. It has base 120 defense, so if I can get 50% off that or even 25% off that before he Mega Evolves, I'm going to take that, because that's free damage against something with incredibly good defenses. Next up is my Mega Charizard X, which is going to be Jolly with a ton of speed. Um, and then otherwise, max HP and some defense. We are not running any attack investment on this thing. It is going to be Will-O-Wisp, Roost, Dragon Claw, and Flare Blitz. This is also to handle some of his physical attackers. Maybe take something by surprise, take a hit, and then be able to Will-O-Wisp back, uh, Roost back to full. I am running a lot of speed investment in this thing in order to outspeed anything that it would otherwise naturally outspeed up through the Landorus. Um, and then we're just running dual stabs because it actually hit his team incredibly hard. Even with no attack investment, um, I'm still doing about 45 to 55% to pre-marina with a flare blitz, so that's pretty sweet. Um, so this thing is just going to be able to, to smack things, um, will-o-wisp around. I really want things burned that are going to be physical threats because those are his bigger threats to me. Gigalith can come in on this thing always. That's the thing. Gigalith always can switch into a Charizard, and I can't really do anything to it. Earthquake wouldn't do that much even if I was running it. So will o is my best option, and then being able to switch out, Mega Evolving, and getting my Rock Weakness to go away a little bit, maybe switching into my uh, Skarmory or my Cryogonal, whichever it takes. Next up is my Scolipede, which is going to be adamant with Life Orb. It's going to have a tiny bit of speed, so that at plus one I outspeed everything, so I can run that Protect. Get to plus one speed. We need to outspeed everything. Um, I'm also running Swords Dance. If I can get a Swords Dance up, and this thing gets a speed boost, uh, I win the game <laughs> pretty much. Um, barring berries and crazy investments, uh, this thing with Life Orb and those two moves basically KOs everything on his team at plus two, um, and Landorus T dies to a plus one Life Orb. Aquatail, um, even with max HP and about 140 defense, it still dies to an Aquatail plus one. Um, everything dies except for max defense Duosion, um, Gigalith can survive one Aquatail, and, uh, um, blanking him. And Latios is a little bit more of a struggle, too. Um, anyway, this thing, if it gets set up, really just runs through his team. So the last two mons are really there to help supplement this thing, which is the thing I want to end up sweeping, if I can force switches and be able to get this thing safely attacking. First one of those is going to be my Licky Licky Brom with a... 
Uh, careful nature, so Spadef invested so that it can. Uh, it is a very low chance for pre Specs Pre Marina to 2 a KO with Moonblast. And it's gonna be Swords Dance, Earthquake, Body Slam, and Ice Punch. Um, I had an Adrenaline Orb on this thing to catch the Landorus, but Landorus doesn't actually switch into it all the time, so that made me sad. Um, but if I can get a Swords Dance off, uh, and he goes to the Landorus, Ice Punch, plus one, that thing's gonna gonna take a take a chunk if it doesn't die straight up. Um, Body Slam is pair is incredibly useful against his team. Cloud Nine makes it so that his uh, Stoutland isn't getting boosted by the Sand. I'm also not taking Sand damage, which is kind of nice. And Earthquake is just there for general coverage against the Salazzle, the Gigalith, the Jolteon, the Bisharp. He's got some ground weaknesses. And lastly, we have my Slowbro for the which is going to be Assault Vested. I would say for the second straight week, but I actually haven't battled my Week Six battle yet. So uh, you guys are going to see that I'm actually battling both of them today. Um, but, uh, we haven't done that. I'll explain in my week six battle what's going on. So you guys have already heard about that, but it is what it is. Um, but Scald, Psychic, Ice Beam, and Zap Cannon. Uh, yeah, we're running Zap Cannon Slowbro with an Assault Vest this week against Die. I don't know if I'm going to click it, but if his Pre Marina's in there against my Slowbro and it can't touch me because I, it's, I'm Assault Vested and he's going to switch out. He switches our Latios and Decidueye basically every time, possibly Bisharp, if he's predicting a Psychic. And Zap Cannon paralyzing one of those. I mean, it's 50% shot to get a, par a, a, a paralysis on something. That's... Better rods than I've used before. Um, I feel like Thunder Wave and Zap Cannon are about the same average accuracy for me, so we're gonna see what happens. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys back here in a moment with this hype battle against Die. So, um, just for anyone who skips the team builders or who missed last week's battle, um, this this is the final video. Not that is being recorded, since technically I'm doing my Week 7 battle before my Week 6 battle, but that is being uploaded from this apartment. So, starting in the next video, you guys are going to see a new background. And right now, I don't even know what it's going to look like. My current apartment, my new apartment right now, has literally just boxes of IKEA stuff strewn about. There's no rhyme or reason to where anything is right now. Um, and as you can see, my desk, my computer, my stuff is still at this apartment so when i move i will move all of that with me um but obviously i haven't done that yet so this is the last video again the battle against die that is going to be uploaded featuring this apartment background once i hit the next one and forevermore this will be a memory this is it's a big deal it's a big moment um but it is what it is it is not the last video i'm recording that will in fact be my week six battle against josh ultra player uh later on this evening i'm uh recording both of them tonight or today i'm editing all of it uploading all of it and then it's just gonna get scheduled for a couple weeks out so uh yeah just so you guys are aware that is what's going on and i just want to make sure that you guys are on the same page as me so i'm taking a little bit of time here to just explain that um and go through that this is the team that we're facing die with i'm just gonna keep this in um it's a special kind of moment for me um and i kind of want to make sure you guys are aware of the changes that are going on but also just like that i'm how i'm feeling and what i'm what i'm experiencing you know as i'm going through uh as i'm going through this move um and so i don't want you guys to uh to, to miss out on a little bit of extra content from me here. Um, even if it's it's just a couple extra seconds, and I'm not saying anything important. I'm just babbling at this point, because I don't usually talk here, but... Alright. Landorus, Jolteon, Decidueye. No Primarina. Interesting. I didn't have a switch in for that, so I'm not complaining too much. Also, no Latios, no Bisharp, no Mega Pinsir. You've got the, the Sand in Giggles and Stoutland. Uh, and... Yeah, let's let's see how this goes. I'll open up my Calyx here. Um, so he's got this Lazzle, which can definitely lead if he's expecting my Skarmory to lead. He's got the Lando, which is a very, very safe lead, basically no matter what. Um, now, I could lead Cryo, but I don't think I want to take a hit from a Salazzle right off the bat from a Cryogonal. I also don't want to take a hit from a Lando. Um, yeah, a Fire Blast could kill. It's unlikely to, but it could. Um... I think Licky Licky is my best lead here. Um, if he does lead Lando, I have the Ice Punch. If he does lead with the Salazzle, I can take any hit from that. Uh, and so I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to lead with my Licky Licky. It was sort of a backup answer to Primarina, which doesn't, which he didn't bring. So if he's expecting my Skarmory, I'm expecting Salazzle to lead. Um, and if he's not expecting it, if he's trying to get his own rocks up, then Lando's going to lead. 
Um, all right. Kurt, that is... Zlazzle. Okay, so yeah, he's probably expecting the Skarm lead. I have a very free Earthquake at this point. Uh, or just a Sword Dance if I want to. What if I'm at plus one? Ice Punch kills Lando if I Sword Dance? Is that what you're telling me? Uh, okay. And Salazzle can't two-hit KO me with anything? He could Toxic. But I don't care that much if he does. And I could just, I could just Earthquake. But I could also just Swords Dance. How much do I do to Giggle if I Swords Dance? At plus two. I'm two at KO and Giggle. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Goes for a substitute. Oh man, he's got the substitutes. Also, my thing got off centered, but that's okay. Um, is that sub toxic protect Black's? Yeah. He's that Salazzle. Really? Uh, I need to fix you. Hold on. What are you doing? No, what are you... How did you even select that? How did you decide that was what you were going to... Okay, I don't even know what's going on right now. Okay, there we go. She had to fix that. I knocked it off earlier today, and I forgot about it. So, put that back on where it's supposed to be. Uh, body slam will definitely break substitutes here. So, yeah, I'll click body slam. Uh, sludge wave. Okay, so he didn't. He didn't nasty plot. Uh, this isn't gonna do very much at all. Uh, we're just gonna body slam. Break a substitute. Now, guys, if I had my Adrenaline Orb, which I had, which is what I wanted to bring, uh, this game would be well at hand right now. As it stands, he's very likely about to go into Gigalith here, not Lando. I don't expect him to, to go into Lando here. So I think I'm going to click Earthquake, which can 2 a KO the Gigalith. He could substitute again to scout out my set a little bit more, but then he's just taking HP damage, and it's not like I'm going to miss a Body Slam or an Earthquake, so... Uh, I just don't see Lando coming in right now, honestly. Yeah, that's the Gigalith. We're gonna catch that thing with an Earthquake. Um, and that should 2 it KO. It doesn't have sand. This is not sand, uh, so it's probably sturdy. You get sturdy, right, Gigalith? I think you do. I, I used a Gigalith once, and I don't even know what abilities he gets. Um, he's leftovers. Okay, that's still a 2 KO. Um, so I could Earthquake again. He could go Lando at this point if he, if he thinks I'm going to Earthquake again. Um, but Ice Punch still kills the Lando. <laughs> uh, at plus one. So I think I can just Earthquake safely here. Or I can just Body Slam. No, I don't want to take a hit from this thing. I don't think this thing's any rocks. I'm just going to Earthquake. Let him sack it. He's going to switch out into Lando. That's okay. Stan? Which one's Stan? Stoutland. Well, he's got no Sand. He's got Intimidate. Oh, man, if I had... He doesn't really Intimidate. <laughs> All right. Um, he might have Superpower as well. Uh, that does not as much as I wanted to. Man. He's got Leftovers. Okay. I mean, what's Superpower? He's not Banded. He's Leftovers. He's clearly Defensive. Because that Earthquake did, like, 25%. It's Intimidate... Yeah, he's clearly defensive. So I can... I can just body slam here. I'm not gonna... I outspeed you! How? Oh, you're probably roaring. Okay. Alright, well we know Licky Licky can basically sweep this team. Uh, <laughs> that makes me so happy that that just did so much work. Alright, that's not the best mod for me to have gone into right there. Um... Really isn't the best Mon. I can Toxic here, but again, he could Superpower, he could Return. He's not Banded. Stop saying that he's Banded. He's Leftovers. He's Intimidate. He's got not Max Attack. Or at least not, he's like Max HP or something. I could go Skarm here, kind of scout out what he's going to do. I don't think he can really hurt Skarm. 
Uh, and Cryogonal's not the mon I want in right now. He can roar, but he already has his rocks up, so I don't have to worry too much about it. Uh, he's gonna double out Jolteon. Is he finally getting ahead now? Yeah. Yeah, he's finally doing the things that he needs to do to win the game. I get it, I get it. Well, now I want Cryo in. Because that thing can take hits from a Jolteon. But he's probably just gonna Volt Switch here, because it's free. And Zard hasn't Mega Evolved yet. I can put up rocks. There's really no harm in doing it. I mean, oh, he's gonna wish? Yo, this guy's bringing heat sets right now. I'm not the only one who's gonna do it. Alright, I'll set up rocks here. Uh, and I think he's gonna try to wish pass into something specific, whether it's Gigalith, probably, or Salazzle. So what I'm gonna do is actually Whirlwind here, predicting him to switch out. Uh, so there's the Volt Switch. Which is going to do a lot, um, don't get me wrong, it's a lot. Um, but I'm expecting him to want to go into something specific. So by Whirlwinding, yes, I don't get the rock damage on whatever I do bring in ultimately, but I'm hoping that whatever he does, he's not going to get it on this, you know? This thing is not going to get his wish, and that's really the important thing. If it's Salazzle, that is worst case scenario. Uh, if it's Gigalith, that's annoying, but isn't the end of the world. Uh, if it's Lando, I'm actually okay with that, and if it's Decidueye, I'm okay with that as well. So Salazzle... I don't love that. I don't love that. I'm gonna be honest. Um, he gets a perfect roar into something that I'm forced out of, and I get a, the, the anti-perfect roar. Skarm, it's fine. Just Whirlwind. If he tries to set up a substitute, I don't want him to, basically. Uh, and if he doesn't, then I get information about his spreads and his sets, and it's fine. So Skarm's gonna go down here. Salazzle kills Skarmory, your flamethrower. Um, now I can go back into Licky Licky right here. I could go right back into Licky Licky right here. Uh, we know he's not scarfed. I could also go into my Slowbro. And click. He doesn't have a single Psychic Resist. Or I could just go in Licky Licky. Since he didn't get the wish onto his... Stoutland. Yeah, Licky Licky's safe. It's free. And I Earthquake. Right? I just straight Earthquake. I don't need to set up a Swords Dance right now. Dude, I love this. This Licky Licky putting in work right now. Um... At neutral, Earthquake can still Oko this thing. I just don't see him going straight Landorus, and if he does, I can switch out into Slowbro. I just don't see him going straight Landorus, I'm gonna be honest. Body Slam's also fairly free. So is Swords Dance, though. Swords Dance is totally free. Swords Dance is totally free. I'm gonna do that. Skywalker. That's Landorus. Does this thing kill with a... I mean, maybe Phytinium Z kills, but does Flyinium Z kill? No. Nope. Flyinium Z, Groundium Z, both guaranteed two KOs from full, which is where I am. Ice Punch! After rocks, if he's not defensive, it's guaranteed, guaranteed KO. Vitinium Z probably kills, if he's got it. Superpower by itself doesn't, but Vitinium Z would. He goes for the defog. All right. Well, rocks aren't going to be up, but I do have the ice punch. And Landorus survives. It does. But it's very close to dead. Um, so he's got some bulk. That's fine. I feel like Body Slam's my best play. If he goes out into Decidueye, I don't really care. What Z move? 
Don't be Phytinium! Groundium? Okay. I should live this. Especially with the fact that he had a bulk to survive. Um, I should live this. Yep, we take that. We body slam. Landorus dies to a Licky Licky. And any day you can trade a Licky Licky for a Landorus, you're okay with it. So Licky, Licky kills Landorus T with Body Slam. On some level, huh? Do I mean I don't know what he's. Certain things can definitely kill me, but he can't go Gigalith here. An uninvested Stoutland. Which is what this seems like. It seems bulky. With return, presumably. An uninvested Stoutland doesn't kill from here. Decidui? Sort of depends on your investment right now. Max attack, adamant, leaf blade kills. Oh, ice punch. Is that a crit? All right, so we presume that he's incredibly offensive. Um, incredibly offensive. That's the best I can do. I can go Charizard. Or I could go Scolipede. I think Scolipede is my best option right here. Oh, I didn't write down Decidueye. Kills Licky Licky with Leaf Blade. Um, and I can just Swords Dance again. I guess it's not again, but I can Swords Dance here. Which I'm going to do. I don't think he can kill me with anything. I want this to work, guys. You guys don't understand. Oh, he has Brave Bird. I didn't even know this thing learned Brave Bird. Okay. That's what I get. That's what I get. Doesn't kill. All good. All good. Sucker Punch could kill from here, potentially. Uh, based on this Brave Bird damage... He's not max attack. Definitely not max attack. How did he kill my Licky Licky then? I don't know, that did very little. For what I'm expecting it should have done. He must be... Like Miracle Seed or something? I don't know, he might have Sucker Punch. It might kill. I could protect a Scout for that, but I don't think that ends up making a difference in the long run. So I'm just gonna Poison Jab. If he has it, he has it. If he doesn't, he doesn't. He's going to switch out into Stan. The Stoutland. Okay, well, I'll take the the Intimidate drop and Poison Jab here. And I'm going to take some Life Orb damage, but the Stoutland's dead. Um, so, so, Scolipede kills Stoutland with... Uh, poison Cow. Um, and barring priority, like Sucker Punch, which this thing could also have, I should get two more kills here. Watch him fake out right now. Doubles out into Decidueye to scout out for the Aqua Tail. Wow. Okay. I missed. That's actually possibly best case scenario. Because I don't take Life Orb. Um, now, is he going to make that read again or not? He could Sucker Punch here. It would kill. I could go Charizard and preserve this, but I really, I'm not going to get another chance to set up. Although I don't really... Eh, I kind of do need to set up. 
I'm not really going to get another chance with this thing. So I am just going to click Poison Jab. And if he has the Sucker Punch, he has the Sucker Punch. Honestly. Can he, he get Salazzle again? Okay, this thing I don't think takes two plus one Poison Jabs. So I can just really click that twice. And yeah, it means I only get off one more, one kill instead of two. Um, but... Still okay. I wasn't really going to try to make that read or anything like that. I'm just going to click Poison Jab again. Um, giggle it. Goes out into Decidueye. Okay. So that thing's going to go down. And I'm going to die to... Oh, I lived on one! Ho oh, ho Kills Decidueye with Poison Jab. Uh, that's a, that's a freebie Aqua Tail right here. Sure is. Or Poison Jab. I guess Gigalith makes it Aqua Tail makes better sense here. Gigalith makes it makes Aqua Tail make better sense. That was not real English there. Uh, Poison Jab kills you, but it doesn't kill Gigalith. He's probably gonna go Gigalith. I'm gonna click Aqua Tail. If I miss, then that's my life. I've already missed one. Why not miss both? Um... Something drops an Aqua here. Jolteon might be able to survive it, but I landed the Aqua Tail. Alright. So Scolipede's gonna pick up another kill. Scolipede kills uh, Salazzle with Aqua Tail. And Scolipede dies to life or recoil. But he's got Jolteon and he's got Gigalith left. And I have AV Slowbro. Which we know he's not Specs. So Thunderbolt's a 3 KO. I could go Charizard. And where his Gigalith is... Yeah, I'm gonna go Charizard here. Worst case... He goes Gigalith. Slightly better case, he goes Jolteon. Because where Gigalith is, he's not taking two... He's not happily taking two Dragon Claws. And Jolteon's taking one Dragon Claw, but not two. He could also Wish here. So I could just Flare Blitz to kill this thing. But then he's gonna get the Wish onto the... Well, then I just Will-O-Wisp on the following turn. Yeah, I click Flare Blitz here. If he Volt Switches, that's fine. If he doubles, that's also fine. Because um, if he Volt Switches, he doesn't get the, the Wish. And if he Wishes, then his Jolteon's dead, and it's just Gigalith versus the world, and I have a Slowbro. So, that's fine. I'd rather the Jolteon be dead, and he doesn't know anything about my set, by me clicking Flare Blitz here. So, because it should kill, unless he's, like, ridiculously bulky. <laughs> uh, so, yes, his Gigalith's going to get some health back, because I don't think I Oko it. So Mega Charizard X kills Jolteon with Flare Blitz. Um, it's very unlikely I go Ko Gigalith here. I don't know where he is, what he's at. He's a little under 50%, right? He's at 50%. Yeah, there's no way I'm killing him. So I'm going to click Will-O-Wisp here, because he's going to get the, the Wish back anyway. And I land it. That's perfect. He goes for the Rock Blast, which does nothing. And he only gets two hits. Now, he has leftovers. Um, the question is, do I leave my Charizard in right here? I don't think I want to. I think I want to switch out. Or I could... No, I can Roost later. I think I want to switch out into my Slowbro. If he Toxics, I want to be able to Regenerator my Slowbro back as many times as possible. So by bringing Charizard in, going for a Roost, going back into Slowbro, going back into Charizard, going into Cryogonal, I have many options there. Whereas if I let Charizard just die, then I don't have as many options to... There it is. There's the Toxic. I was pretty expecting that they would have the Toxic there. Um, and I figured, let's just get Slowbro in. I've got Scald. Um, it's a speed tie, fun fact, between these two, if he didn't run any speed investment. Um, but this gives me as many Regenerator buffs and resets of Toxic as I possibly can get. 
Um, and since Charizard has Roost as well, uh, we've got lots of time. Lots of time. Um, he can't really kill me. It's just a matter of how long it takes me to eventually finish him off. And we do see that that's not a Salt Vested. Uh, oh, he's got a Toxic, so we know he's not Salt Vested. Uh, and Rock Blast's gonna do, like, nothing. He's got no other recovery except for uh, Leftovers, which is negated by Burn, so this next Scald takes him out, so I don't have to worry too much about it. I'm not even going to switch my Slowbro out or anything like that, but I wanted to make sure that in case he had some crazy tech, um, I've run some ridiculous Gigalits before. I totally think this thing has way more versatility than people give it credit for, um, but this thing is going to drop to a Scald, and Slowbro going to pick up the final kill here. So Slowbro kills Gigalith with... Called, and that will do it. We are going to pick up a nice 3-0 victory um, against Dai. Shoutouts to Dai for being the last person that I will battle in this apartment, but also one of my best friends in the community. He's a great dude, and I hear he's live comming this one, so you guys should go check that out right now. I mean, obviously you watch mine first, but then you go check out his live com because I think he's a cool dude, and you guys should give him more love. Anyway, I will see you guys back again next week. And I forget who we're taking on because I'm moving, but it will be in a new place. So, sh yay! That's exciting. Um, I will see you guys back here next week, though. Take care, everybody.